All right. So what's the story we're telling today? We are storing the telling of Balto. Balto is a dog that saved Nome, Alaska from a diphtheria epidemic, much like the pandemic of aught 2020, but this was an epidemic of aught 1925. And I'm Alicia. I'm Cody, and I forgot to say my name before. <laughs> <laughs> Nome was a mining town on the coast of Alaska. So they're all hanging out in Alaska. It's like 25 degrees below zero Fahrenheit imperial system, not um, whatever the rest of the world uses. There was this diphtheria outbreak and diphtheria sucks. Like, all right, it's 1925, right? Everyone gets sick and dies of everything. But dude, diphtheria affects kids. So that, that like sucks like extra, right? It like makes your throat rot and it's gross. So like there was this doctor in Nome, but his name was Curtis Welch. And he called up the mayor and he was like, look, dude, we're screwed. We got a quarantine right now. Quarantine sound familiar? Yeah, it does. So Dr. Curtis Welch was like, I gotta send a telegram, dude. Here's what it said. An epidemic of diphtheria is almost inevitable here. Stop, I am in urgent need of 1 million units of diphtheria antitoxin, stop. But the problem was Alaska sucks to get to. So boats couldn't go there. Planes weren't gonna get there. The nearest train station is like 700 miles away. So the whole America, because the United States freedom is like, we gotta give these kids freedom. We'll choo-choo train all the serums. We'll get like 20 sled dog racers to like do a relay deal. Gunnar Koster, this Norwegian dude, was like, I gotta do the last like 60 miles, 50, 60 miles. I got this, no problem, all right? Balto is my lead dog, that's fine, we're good. And then like it's blizzarding really hard. And he's like, dude, I like, I can't see my hand in front of my face. That's how much snow there is. And then he waited for like an hour. And then he's like, dude, every hour I wait, people is gonna die. So I gotta go. And then when there's 10 miles left, he's supposed to get to this like cabin and some dude is supposed to have the final team to go. Well, the dude was like asleep and there weren't any dogs there. Cause they all figured they're like, well, he's not gonna show up tonight. There's like a huge storm. So Gunnar, he's like, well, no one's here. I'm just gonna have to power through. So he just keeps going. Here's how sled dogs work. If the driver doesn't know what's going on or where he is, or he can't see, or he like gets real tired or frostbite or whatever, then that's when the driver is like, dog, your job is now to be the person in charge. At some point he's like, I can't feel my body. It's like 30 below zero, we're done. I, dude, Balto, I hope you know what you're doing. And he did. And Balto was like, I got this dog. And it leads the sleigh sled and uh, Santa delivers the presence of the vaccine to the town of Rome. No. No, no. <laughs> It's Gnome. So Balto becomes like this superstar, right? Sled dog musher goes on tour with him. They do Hollywood, they do movies. They go to New York, they do a vaudeville thing. They, I think they were on American Idol. And now he's stuffed in the Cleveland Museum. There's a statue of Balto in Central Park. There's like Shakespeare and then like Balto, the most badass dog in American history. You know what I'm saying? So you talked about Balto being the hero, but it's a relay race. So who else were the unsung heroes? There's so many unsung heroes. There's like 20 sled musher driver people. Native Americans. There was this guy, Togo, this dog. Raced like 200 some miles, right? Like Balto only did like, I don't know, less than 50. And look, it takes a village to save a village. The moral of the story is we would all 
be better off if we all had sled dogs bringing us the coronavirus vaccine instead of pharmacies. All the doctors and all the science, like bravo. You may not be able to run 60 miles through snow in a blizzard in Alaska in 30 degree below weather, but you can save the world. So you're basically Balto. If you're a doctor, you're a dog and dogs are great. Did this famous uh, relay have any sort of legacy? No. Nah. Not not even the I did or I? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. To the I did or odd, which inspired the shy did or odd, though with no affiliation. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers indeed to the king of the north. <laughs>